Hey guys, welcome to another Epic Cape Stunts video. So, this is Nathan, I'm new to the channel, and I'm going to be starting a parkour behind... Uh, I'm going to be starting the physics behind parkour. So it's a new section, and I'm also quite new to this. I'm going to ask you guys just to watch this video and see what you like about it. Why do you like it? Why would you watch it? Would you watch it because, obviously, because it helps you with this stunt that you want to learn? So it can give you tips what to do, what not to do. Or do you like it just because it's different? I mean, there's not that much um, things I guess out there. Just because it's different and you haven't seen much like it before, it's interesting. Or because you love physics, you're interested in it. So just type down in the comments below why you would watch this video, why you would like it. Hey guys, welcome to the first Physics Behind Parkour tutorial. I'm going to talk you through how your back foot tuck and spin have everything to do with each other. The first thing you'll notice when people do back flips is that they tuck. So they go into a stretch jump to a tuck. Um, your goal in is to raise your angular velocity, which is basically how fast you spin. It can be measured in uh, like revolutions or revs per second. The reason you want to spin fast when doing a backflip is so that you have more time in the air, more time to um, stretch out and land properly so that you can absorb the impact when you hit the ground so you don't smash your heels, you want to land on your toes. So the reason they tuck is because they're lowering their moment of inertia. Your moment of inertia is basically the force needed to start spinning. The moment of inertia is derived from the distance from the fulcrum of your spin basically the horizontal axis over which you're spinning to the edge of the so when you lower your moment of inertia your feet have to travel less distance from the ground all the way back to the ground again because the distance from your um, fulcrum to your feet or the edge of the trajectory is shorter. So when you tuck, you lower your moment of inertia, which means your body is able to rotate more easily and quicker with a given force applied or torque. The time required for a full revolution spin is a lot less. You're basically achieving your initial goal of increasing your angular velocity. So think about it like this. The tighter you tuck, the closer your feet are to your body, the less distance it is from the fulcrum to the edge of your trajectory. This means that the actual trajectory that your feet need to go through to get to the ground is also shorter. That means you have a lower moment of inertia, which means your rotational velocity is higher. So this was your initial goal. This is what you want to accomplish when doing backflip, is a maximum angular velocity so that you can land properly and have more time to straighten out. But just remember guys, lowering your moment of inertia, tucking more, lowers the amount of time required to do a full rotation. So it basically means that if you push off, with say uh, 0 0.5 seconds of air, it means that you can spin further um, when tucked than straight. This isn't what spins you, it's what makes it easier to spin. You might be wondering, well, what is the movement that spins you? What is the thing you need to do to get that spin? Obviously, number one, it's the power to give you enough height, but what actually spins you is the forward momentum of your arms. is the forward momentum of your arms. Because you start in a backflip, you do a stretch jump into a tuck jump. That forward momentum is what spins you because of Newton's third law of motion. Going down with your arms makes you go backwards and around. 
So flinging your arms towards your tuck position as fast as you can will also help to spin you, allow you to land higher like this instead of bent down like that. So another tip to help you spin fast and actually get that spin going is to mentally picture yourself spinning as fast as you can when um, going from stretched out into the tuck. That's what I do, that's how I landed my first backflip really high up. My first really high up backflip. You know when they do double backs, they tuck really weirdly with their legs out to the side. That's so that their head can fit into the space between their legs. So they're even smaller, that's why they can spin so fast. Because their moment of inertia is so small. Because the distance from their fulcrum to the uh, outer trajectory is as minimal as possible. So thank you guys for watching. Remember to tell me what you think of this video down below in the comments. Remember to like, subscribe.